What's up, what's up? Back. Back again. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You. That's what this video is about. You. Your own universe. Let's get into this. Let's dive into this smoke. We are by nature universal beings. We have, let's speak about the human race. You, us, you. You have five fingers. I have five fingers. Let's speak about the universe. And just the universe. Everything in the universe. Gorillas have five fingers. Monkeys have five fingers. And we can keep and we can keep going and going. So you know what I mean? From my perspective and intuition, that tells me the monkeys, gorillas, they they monkeys, gorillas, chimpanzee, baboons, all these species, them these separate species were all created, genetically engineered and created. And have certain blood types in them from other star systems. That's why the baboon is the bat looks like the baboon, the gorilla looks like the gorilla. Orangutan looks like the orangutan. Mm -hmm. If we look like we, we have certain gen genetic, you know what I mean, types, blood types in us. So, now that's a fact. There's nothing to believe in. Because it's about the truth. Knowledge is something that you don't believe in. You know what I mean? It's something that alleviates you from belief. If you have knowledge, you don't need belief. Your own universe. That's what you are. Your own universe. That's what you are. Your own universe. You look up in the sky, you can see, you can find this constellation tilted like that, always. You'll never see the square perfect. You see the square like this. No, I mean, you, no, I, mean I, I take that back. You see the square like this, but the square most of the time is like that. The symbol, the stop, constellations, astrology. Astrology. Well, that's astronomy because I ain't talking about me and the census, the constellation. I'm just talking about the constellation. So that's astronomy. Astrology. When, when I'm saying, yeah, no, that's um, no, that's something like that's that's me, Orion built. That's a human form, and that's turned to astrology. But anyway, <laughs> the only thing you can touch with the mind or teach with the mind. To stimulate, to aspire, to open. There are only one teacher, and that is your higher conscience. Stimulate your conscience. Only yourself, a true teacher, a true student, can stimulate the mind or someone else's mind. And touches someone else's mind by teach. You can touch, you can touch somebody else's mind with teach, with that knowledge. <clears throat> like back to the belief thing, and the knowledge. You don't need to believe in nothing. Like I said, you, know, you got the knowledge, it, it alleviates you from belief. What does alleviate means to relieve the burden, to make lighter 
on something that you was on, on top on me, you was leaning on, like belief. So it lightens the belief. Oh man, I don't believe. Why do I need to believe it still? You know what I mean? It's, that's a burden. <laughs> get, 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 get rid of, get rid, get me rid of this burden. Exactly. <clears throat> So, um, so, um, you don't have to, like when I was saying, you don't have to believe in, believe in the knowledge, believe in what you see or believe in something that you don't know of, but I mean, well, I understand that, but yeah, believe in something that you do know and still have second and only thoughts about it. No, no. <clears throat> Because your soul automatically responds to it. Your spirit responds to the truth. You know what I mean? And you don't have to know about it because your spirit responds to it. And that's called real Idukari. Idukari. That's edu real Idukari. Ultra instinct. Self instinct, self knowledge. Something you were born with. When someone's speaking the truth, you get goosebumps or something. When someone says something, you just get goosebumps. Your nature responds to it. That's really the car. Right? Yep. True knowledge explains things so you can understand them. Your own universe. You are what you think. You are what you eat. You are your thoughts. And your thoughts are you. You are what you speak. Every breath you take. Every move you make. It's your own universe. Not what not what everybody else say or nothing. Don't let nobody in your temple. Keep your temple. Keep your temple protected. Keep it. Keep it polished. Keep it strong. You can be anywhere. Set your fort. What is self knowledge? What is knowing yourself? Knowing yourself could be vitamins, alcohol, plants, animals, emotions, etc. Is that good or bad for you? Herb, all that. Is that good or bad for you? That's self-knowledge. Learning. Herb, is this good or bad for me? I'm loving it. It's real good. I ain't about, no, I'm not taking that back. I'm not loving it. That's emotions. Is this good or bad for me? It's good. Keeps me doing what I'm supposed to do. Keeps me focused. Gives me boost, makes me strong. I mean, it makes me more confident. It's a booster. It's like caffeine. That's why I smoke herb. It's a booster to me. Everything I do, I do it twice as better. My concentration, whatever. I'm more into it. Like, if I was to do this right before spar, I'd be more, I'll, I'll overdo what I'm supposed to do. Not overdo, but I'd be, I'd do it extra. Like, if I go spar sober, I'd be, this plane, I'll go up. I won't be as creative, creative in my sparring. Like, cause like, cause other person, whatever he'll be, he'd be just like me. Oh, I wonder what he's going to do. So I'm going to sit back. Now, if I blaze, I'm like, man, I'm going to get this man the business. He's going to watch me. He's going to sit back because he's so and he's born. So I'm going to get him the business because I got the herb in me. That's why I smoke herb. That's why people don't like you to smoke herb because they don't want you to get creative. They want you to get boosted. So, yeah, this is good for me. Alcohol? No. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Vitamins? Yes. Testing plants? Is meat good for you? Me? Hell no. Nah. I would say, is it good? You know what I mean? That's self knowledge. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What should, you know me? You know what I mean? What should be with you? What's self knowledge? <coughs> Hmm. 
all the foundations. All the foundations on earth should be what's good or bad for you. Yep. Rise, O oh God, and judge the nations. But you rather run around in darkness and die like out like weak old princes and princesses. <laughs> yep. I have said you are gods, but you will die out like a weak prince or princess. Knowledge is not something you believe, it's something you understand. <laughs> it is That's what knowledge is. And that's what you should understand yourself. You itikari with yourself. Learn to hear yourself. Respond to the spirit. Respond to your inner thought. Respond to yourself. That's knowing yourself. That's self-knowledge. See you on the next one. Mention natural Ru Nujits. All right. You're a Magi. The real Kemet. Hotep. Asha Shah. <laughs>